Hey everybody, it's Tasha the Snow Wolf here, and guess what? I just got my new, my ultra awesome, ultra awesome um, memory card today. I just got it a couple minutes ago, and and we're finally going to be able to start on my new Let's Play of Pokemon Coliseum. I know some of you guys have been really anxious about me starting this, since you guys really seem to enjoy my little mini view of my Let's Play. And trust me, this is really exciting. Earlier I had to drop a video because I didn't... The memory card I ordered wasn't working right, so I ended up having to go over to GameStop and getting a better one. So, here is this awesome one, and I would just like to thank um, Sky the Fox Rocks, my friend Mystic, and my friend, my friend Ty, for offering me some names for my characters. But I decided to go with Ty's suggestion on the names. Axel and Melody are very good names. I've tried using um, Mystic's name, and it just doesn't sound too good, especially with the way the character looks. It doesn't look right. No offense, Mystic, I'm sorry to say that, but it just doesn't look right. But I like the names Axel and Melody. Sometimes I wish I had that name, Melody. It sounds pretty, but you can't pick and choose your names. <laughs> but I will be asking for some names for some of my Pokemon once I get up to at least a few more videos on this. and. Trust me, this is going to be going pretty fast because I do, usually I spend all my time at home, so I will be doing a ton of videos for you guys, and I know you guys are really excited to see this because this is one of the best vi video games ever. I had to go out and buy a good memory card for, for me, and I end up having to drop my old my old video all together because the because the stupid memory card wouldn't wouldn't take. So I'm I'm just doing this over and like I said before, Espeon and Umbreon start at start Umbreon starts at level twenty six. Espeon starts at level twenty six. Hey, Umbreon starts at level twenty six and Espeon starts at level twenty five. But Umbreon has more um, experience low, experience points than Espeon, so, es so Espeon won't be able to get more experience points than Umbreon, especially since he's about to level up anyway. But anyway, uh, on that note, my, on that note, my... I'm sorry for that little interruption. I had to let my dogs in. But besides that, um, this game is really awesome. The graphics are just amazing. The characters, their names are a little bit funny though. So, <laughs> it doesn't matter if you really laugh at them because they really are truly funny. I like the names in this game because they're funny. and But there's not that many char characters with a bunch of different Pokemon because they don't have like all the other Eevee evolutions. They don't have any good characters like you like. Um, I don't know really many of them. Um, besides a few of the Hoenn Pokemon and several of the and a couple of the Indigo Pokemon, it's just not that much. But still. It's very good. I like this game a lot. And besides that, it's very fun. Especially the 
the amazing, beautiful places they put in this game. I mean, I mean, my God, that look at this place. This place is downright beautiful. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Besides the name being called Fanatic. Fanat. Oh, Fanatic. Oh, Fanatic City. It's beautiful. It's amazing. I like this place a lot. You see those two guys? The guy with the red, orange, red, yellowish hair. That's Foley, and his partner is Trudley. Those two are going to be very important in a later thing. But right now, you get to battle Foley. You don't get to battle Trudley until a little bit later. But in a couple of minutes, we'll be getting in, into Trudley's character. But still. I'm not a big brainiac on these kind of games that much, but I'm a big strategist when it comes to a bunch of Pokemon games. I played so many, and like in my in my uh, mini in my mini tribute video, I told you guys I have I played I have much experience with Pokemon games. I played so many Pokemon games that I'm just a brainiac when it comes to the game. And I'm really smart. In this game, in fact, the type difference is a little bit different. Like, in a Pearl, in a DS game, you'd used to have, usually bug types would be psychic. In this, in this game, it's the other way around. And in this game, ghosts don't affect dark types, which is amazing. Only some... Wait, um, I don't even think that's right. All I know is that normal types, normal moves, normal type moves don't affect ghost types still. Um, most, it's mostly a similar thing, it's just a little bit more different. But some moves are very strong. Like, I, fa I found out that um, the first Pokemon you have to Snag is a fighting type move, Pokemon. Whatever you do, don't, and I repeat, don't use Espeon's confusion on it. It will faint. I did that before and I made a total mistake on it. Use Umbreon's secret power or Espeon's return attack to weaken it. Do not use bite or confusion on it. It will just kill it. I swear. I hated myself doing that. But in the other news, it's awesome. It's a very nice game. I love this thing so much. I've gotten up to uh, Mount Battle, like I said before. It was really awesome getting up there. <gasps> oh, man. I was... Okay. Like I said before, um, this game is very awesome. And like I said before, um, well, I was going to mention in my last video, in my earliest video that I did, did earlier, but I dropped. I mentioned before that I wasn't going to ask any of you guys really which Pokemon I should pick to snag, like, which Pokemon to snag, like, Quilava, Bayleaf, or Croconaw? I just decided on Bayleaf because you get to cap, you get to snag a Skiploom, and trust me, it's, it's only usable move is, um, um, Mega Drain, and that's not very helpful. It knows, um, Cotton Spore and one other, one other one, but those aren't very helpful. So I suggest to get a stupid, a stupid Bailey because that's just not helpful. Slugma, on the other hand, is a very good one, which is a Pokemon you get to snag later. It's also another one that you get to snag later. It's very good. I like it a lot. I will be showing you guys some of the good secrets around here. This place is awesome. First of all, here's 
here's the person you get to battle right now. You get to battle at least two people in this town early. So I would do this right now just to get the money. Because these guys, these guys are easy. They're like really easy and I suggest you totally battle them for extra money. And like I said before, in my dumped video, I mentioned that you start out with two, two super potions, five potions, two um, burn heal, two ice he ice heal, uh, two paralyzed heal, two awakenings, two antidotes, and two full heals. I suggest to sell the awake. Well, not the awakening really, but one of the awakenings. I suggest selling the both antidotes, both ice, uh, ugh, ice heals and um, burn heals as well, because you're not gonna need those for quite a while. And trust me, it's rare when you get when you get um, frozen solid, really, and burn, because there's not that many fire poking around here in the beginning. So you really should sell those for extra cash. So that way you can get a ton more Great Balls and Pokeballs, which you're gonna be getting pretty soon after we go talk to the mayor and go check out the stadium. This one, this is just a little shorty thing. I wanted to show you guys one more thing. This, this is important info that you have to learn. Oh wait, this ain't the right place. They, that ain't the right room, and I just remember this. I played this one like several times before, and that, and you do not need to go there. Here is a good place to start out before anything. You should really save your data, because if, in case if you actually make that same mistake I did by using Confusion on Makuta, I would definitely save, that way you'd be, be able to go back to that same position and still not have that same mistake, but I'm not going to save right now until closer to the end of the video, which will be in about another two minutes maybe. But let me show you guys. See, look at the items they give you. Two super potions, five potions, five ana two antidotes, two burn heal, two ice heal, two paralyzed heal, two awakenings, and two full helps. I suggest getting rid of all the antidotes, the burn heals, and the ice heals because you're really not going to need that. Because you really aren't going to need those till later. And they pay a lot of money for them. I'm only going to sell one awakening. Then I'm gonna buy a ton of buy. I'm gonna buy a ton of these. I'm gonna buy three of these and buy two of these. Okay, like I mentioned before, uh, you should go up here and check this place out. This guy sells awesome items. He has guard spec, which prevents the stat reduction when used in battle. So I'm going to get two of those and two direct di dire hit, which raises the critical critical ra critical hit ratio of of one Pokemon in battle. That's very important right now. So. Once I get back over to the mayor's house, I will end this off, okay? I will see you guys in, in a little bit. Bye-bye.